come to age seven in America. The idea for this film came from a documentary about seven-year-olds made in Britain in the 1960s. A camera followed the same children every seven years, including this year as they turned 35 with children of their own. Here, we're starting out with our own American seven-year-olds. You'll meet Lewis, Ashton, Kenesha, and some other children from all over the country. They're rich, poor, and in the middle. They're from the north and south. They're black, white, brown, and yellow, like the rest of us. So now let's take a glance over our shoulders and a glimpse into an unknown future. These seven-year-olds are meeting each other for the very first time. You slipped on a banana peel. I know, he keeps dropping the banana peel. They reflect us in a variety of ways, yet they're also unique. What do they think of their lives? Of us? Of the world we're giving them? Look at the baby. It's a live gorilla. Yeah. It is. Can you see, I'm in the bathroom, mother, and your mother's probably going to say, and oh. Watch this. I made them do that. You shouldn't do that if it says, please do not tap or hit. Yeah. Please do not We look at them and we see judgments on today, prophecies of tomorrow. But first and best, we see kids. Our first child lives on New York's Lower East Side in a shelter for people needing temporary housing, a home for the homeless. It's the sixth place Lewis has lived in his seven years. How many people in your family? How many people? This is too hard, I bet we can't be. Seven kids, one mother, two fathers, three fathers. One grandma, one grandfather, lots of titis, lots of, you know, uncles and everything. Do all those people live with you right now? No. I only got two, two uncles, one titi, my mother, my father, and, and six kids living. My other brother's in Milwaukee, my big brother. So that's how many, that's how many there is. Eleven people living, eleven people living with me. A hundred blocks north of Lewis, Kate is growing up on Manhattan's affluent Upper East Side. These are Kate's friends, Lucy. Yes, yes, yes. And Alexis. All three girls attend one of New York's most prestigious and competitive private schools. I think that why they make us wear uniforms is because how they know that we're a Nightingale girl and also because it's a symbol of Nightingale. It's something that Nightingale wants girls to be. What happens to someone who doesn't wear the right uniform? If they break the rules, which well, they shouldn't do, them. I think they Maybe. should be sent home. No, no they'll be suspended. No, they'd be suspended, even in kindergarten. What does yeah, that mean? Is that fair? Suspended oh, so means that you're, you're kicked out of school and you can't come to it anymore. Uh-uh, that's expelled. It's suspended means when you are out for a few weeks, a month, or something like that, and then you come back to school. Uh. Expelled means that you, you are out of school forever and you can't come back. I think um, the, 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 they should be sent home immediately and extended for a month. A long way from the busy streets of New York, Ashton lives in a gentle suburb of Lincoln, Nebraska. What kind of house would you like to live in when you grow up? Um, one that I live in right now. Something like the one that I live in right now. I like my backyard because it's a big backyard. And I have a lot of friends around here. On the south side of Chicago, the Robert Taylor Homes are one of the largest public housing projects in the country. 
Leroy has lived here on the seventh floor for five years. He plays on a small walkway bounded by a chain link fence. He calls it his porch. How come you have to ride your bike up here on the porch? So nobody will take it from you. Well, what happens if you ride your bike down below in the park? They're going to push me off of it and take it. Five buildings away, Leroy's classmate, Kenesha, has lived in the same projects all her life. We don't move. If I move, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have me, I'm gonna have me a, um, one of those, those house, a house, and then I'm gonna have me a playground in a backyard. So I don't got to go hardly nowhere to uh, go to the playground. I'm going to live in a home. Or I might live out of Florida with my uncle. Because he, uh, he, he, a, he a fireman. Two miles to the west of the projects, Douglas, Vicky, and Mike live in a traditionally Polish neighborhood. They all have grandparents just down the street. Trick or treat! Thank you. The three children are classmates at the local Catholic school. He ran for student council and he got picked. He ran for student council, he got picked. I ran for student council and I got picked. Yeah, everybody and everybody knows. follows us. It's like Everywhere. because they always want to play with us. Further to the west, in a Chicago suburb, Eric is hard at work in his playroom. And I don't have a brother or sister besides my dog, so I'm mom. Um, sometimes when I ha when I used to not have any friends or he didn't want to play with me, my only friend didn't. I just said. I wish I had a brother. Brandon lives in a wealthy suburb and attends the same prep school as Eric. Both boys commute to the school's campus at the University of Chicago. I would like to live in a mansion. What would you like to live in, Brandon? Middle. But I would like to have a big land because that's nice. Like maybe at a pool or something. You can't waste that much money that fast. Although they're all in and around the same city, these seven Chicago children live in worlds that barely touch. Do you feel safe in the neighborhood you live in? I feel, feel yeah. I feel plenty safe. I feel safe if they are shooting. I don't think about it unless they point the gun. Then I run in the house. When they shoot, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to roll down the stairs. Does anyone ever get murdered in your neighborhood? Oh, no. no. How about robberies? Are there robberies in your neighborhood? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. My snowblower got stolen. <laughs> but, but the robber couldn't carry it. <laughs> the police got it back. Are there any gangs in the neighborhoods where you live? Gangs? Like gang members, like Al Capone. Yeah. I just there aren't any that I know of. They'll put one finger on there and then start spinning around, shooting up and down and stuff. Have you ever seen people shoot guns? Yeah, they be yeah. uh, sitting under our building. Then sometimes they shoot under that wild boy out. They ain't, then they say, boo. Then they say, his eye was laying on the floor. I saw it downstairs when I was going to school. Do you think it's better to live in the city or in the country? Country. Why? There isn't pretty things like flowers and stuff in the, um, in the city, and there's lots of them in the country. There's no ponds, which I like to fish. 
Joey, who's being raised a Jehovah's Witness, lives in rural Georgia, where a tranquil southern childhood still exists. Edie goes to school with Joey. Her family has lived in this area for generations. Since I found my jump rope, I jump rope, play sometimes with my little brother, and I play in the water, and I ride my bicycle, and I go to my grandma's house. You think you'll stay in the country for the rest of your life? I don't think so, but I hope so. The country, you have a lot of space, and the city is crowded with cars and people. Los Angeles, the new Ellis Island, contains the largest number of immigrants and refugees in the United States. Selena was born here after her parents emigrated from China and Vietnam. Here in Southern California, the typical American's heritage is no longer European, but Asian, African, or Latin American. Do you think it's better to live in China or to live in America? America. Why? I like it a lot, but I was born in America. What do you do on the weekend? Watch TV all the time, every day. Who do you play with the most? Nobody. <laughs> Why not? Oh, no. I keep playing by myself, that's why. Do you prefer to play by yourself? For the immigrant child, words themselves can be barriers. Julio came to Los Angeles from El Salvador as a baby. Although his school is bilingual, the language he hears both on the playground and at home is Spanish. Aquí duerme mi hermano. Yo duermo aquí. Mi mami y mi papi duermen aquí. Y aquí duerme Eric. Is it better to speak English or Spanish in America? Es mejor hablar en inglés o en español aquí en español. Porque aquí toda la gente casi no habla inglés. Born in Los Angeles, Michael lives in one of its fashionable beach communities. You want to see the world, Alaska, South Pole, North Pole, Africa, China, Tokyo. I want to meet new people, and I want to talk Japanese. Most of my relatives are Japanese, and I want to talk to them like the way they talk, because and I mostly go to sushi a lot, and I want to talk to the sushi chefs. These are the American citizens of the 21st century, the leaders, laborers, and managers of tomorrow. They're both mirrors and crystal balls of our society. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you want to live? In Milwaukee. Because it's quite there. There's only one, one cop. Because there's, there's only one cop in that, in that place. That's the only cop there. He, he don't have to work that much because that place is quiet. Nobody bothers there. What's the difference between El Salvador and Los Angeles? Can you explain the difference between Los Angeles and El Salvador? The houses are cold in El Salvador. What else? What else is the difference here? In El Salvador, they kill the most big ones, and here they kill the most big ones. 
Are there people who take drugs in your no. neighborhood? No. My dad smokes. Well, besides smoking, no way. There's not too many of that in Lincoln. I might drink beer, but not that much, but I'm never going to try drugs. I'm just going to drink a little bit of beer once a year or so. Why do you think people take drugs? Because um, they think it's very good or something, because their life is bad. And something like that, some people teach them to do it. And when they meet the gangs, they tell them, if you don't try drugs, you might kill you. And they stick the knife on their neck. And they say, OK, OK, I'll do it, right? Alexis, I have a question I'll to call ask the you. Police. What if someone came over and said, hey, and he's like a boy, and he says, hey, try a drug, try a cigarette, and then you say, no, I would or not, and then he sticks it in your mouth. What do you do? Do you, you, what I would do is I would spit it out and then run away, and then I would say, I'm not going to take these. And drugs. call the no. police. They be wrapping paper up in it and putting cracking drugs in it. Mm. And then they'll light up with a cigarette lighter. And then they'll start smoke, smoking it. My mom said that means they smoking brief. That ain't good for little kids. Little kids shouldn't be watching, because they could do that they self when they don't even know. That's why my grandma said, my mom was a teacher, teach us while we young. Don't teach us while we, when we get old. Tanisha, what are the three ways we get our needs? Buying them, <coughs> making them, and growing. Growing them, all right. We're going to review again our wants and needs in social studies. All right, Kanisha. Complete the first sentence. Needs are things what? That we must have to live. All right, class, complete the sentence. Wants are things? We would like to have what we can live without them. Why is it important to go to school? So you can learn. Uh -huh. And you can know what you're doing and get your education, get your job. What are the six needs that we must have to live? And My mom and dad said that if you don't go to school and be smart, you might end like homeless. Do you get good grades? Very what? good. And you have to learn how to talk right and like this, she say, I'm is a girl or something like that. It's I am a girl. You have to learn how to talk right. This is a queen. This queen. Is a queen. queen. What's the hardest thing about not speaking English? People no more have in English. Aprender. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Joey, can you think of a phrase to go with the word corner? Bad boy in a corner. Okay. B. B. A. A. D. school different from other schools? Well, they teach in a different method. They make it into a game. Instead of like, two plus two is four, and that, you just get that. No two ways about it. Hi, there you are, push your bell, a funny fellow. Hi, there you are, push your bell, a funny dude. I'm going to be into musicals or something. My stage name's probably going to be Mike. Yeah, I always like what? Mike, stage name. I always liked that name. What? Ever since I was a little boy, I loved that name. Is it good to fight? No. It's good to be friendly. So my sets will fight with me. I'll just keep fighting. And then at the end, sorry. I shake their hand and say sorry if it was a boy. It was a girl, I'll hug her. <laughs> mm. We chase her and we and I said whoever um catches her gets to try to kiss her. Did you catch her? Yeah, lots of times. But Why? I still haven't done it. Why? Because 
I just can't get to her. She's tough to catch, huh? No, he's not tough to catch. He's tough to kiss. Do any of you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend? No, uh, I used to. <laughs> I used to. Uh-huh. Have you ever kissed a girl, Douglas? Yes. <laughs> Once. Have you ever... She kissed me twice. <laughs> Did you like it? Mm, at the time, yes. <laughs> Do you have a boyfriend, Alexis? Well, his name is George, and he's um, a doorman. And I he's like, he's like man. He's George. Yes. I have a doorman who's George. And, and um, <laughs> he's about 20 or 19 years old, and he's in a rock group. Do you have a girlfriend? No, sir. Do you want to have a girlfriend? No, sir. I want to laugh this out. Not right now, though. My sister's shine about that stuff. She, she, she says she wants to get married with a girl. <laughs> She's crazy. She don't like boys. Because, you know, boys are very, you know, they have hats. They, they're cool and, you know, they be fighting in every time. The girls, they're quite good. Like, they be friendly. But the boys, they fight instead of being friendly like the girls. But I'm a little friendly. I'm friendly. I'm bad. I'm good. I'm friendly. I'm not friendly. I'm American. Do you think you'll be married or have a job or both when you get older? I think they have a job. My dad wants me to be a singer. And since I like to write, my mom likes want me to be a writer. I think I'll choose being a doctor. Why to go, She knows her facts. Do you want to have children when you get older? Yes, yes, that's yes. the whole point why I want to get married. No, it isn't, Kate. You can have babies when you're yeah, a little and you, younger. Yeah, and you didn't, and you don't even, I if know. you want to get no. married, you don't even have to have a baby. Mm-hmm. I know, but that's the whole point. I want to get married so you can have children. When I grow up, I want to have a little girl. Can you, can you have babies and not be married? Yes. Well, you can't have them, but you can adopt them. Mm. I think you can have them when you're, because, I mean, it doesn't matter. You, you, you don't have to get married to have a baby because it's something that everybody has to do or you can have an operation well, not you, to have it. Well, you have, to, you have to be with a boy to have a baby. No, no you, you don't. don't. When I get punished, I'll be thinking about, like, saying that I, wish, I can't wait to go big and, you know, have my wife and my own kids and everything. And I'll be, I'll be just, I'm gonna be just like um, one of these people on TV. No, in real life, I'm gonna be just like them. When Cassie's pets and new babies take their bottles, it sounds like they're really drinking, and then they work. What about your real father, the father that was with your mother when you were someplace born? someplace else. I don't know. He moved from the first place that I know he lived. I wanted to go to his house, but my mother told me not 
that I can't go there because since I, I'm not, I don't have to go there if he doesn't come here. So, I think. How long ago was that? How long? When I was a baby, mm -hmm. when I was five. So he doesn't live at home with you anymore? They broke up. I might have really don't want to have kids when I grow up. Any reasons? No. Do you look forward to growing up and being an adult? Sometimes. Like, sometimes I think it's so hard being a kid. I, I might just wish I'm a grown up. What's the most important thing in the world to you? My hamster. To be with my family. Be safe. A job. Well, it's really like the poor and the, the people who die, and like the people in the army who die, and well, that's really not important to me, but it should be. Being in paradise. When? I don't know. When the day comes, I want to be in paradise. Why do you go door to door? We want everybody in the truth. Like we have a presentation and we have magazines. Like, say, hello, my name is Joy. I knock on the door and they, they come to the door and I say, hello, my name is Joy. And have these magazines that tell you about God's kingdom and how you can live in God's kingdom. Is there a difference between Jehovah's Witness and other religions? Yes, sir. If you believe in other gods, you won't be able to live in paradise. There's only one God, and that's Jehovah. Do they cost anything? No, ma'am, but you can donate to the preaching word. All right. Will that be all right? Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You have a nice day, too. Thank you. You're welcome. I think that God and Jesus are real people. And I also believe in the, in Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. What happens to people who don't believe in God? Uh, well, God punishes them. Like, some people, they just die if they don't believe in God. And it really does hurt God's feelings. Well, I don't think they die. God doesn't yeah, yeah. kill them. Yeah, they kill just them. get, they probably like get punished. Everybody say God, because God bless America. Because of America, they say God. That's why I believe in God. Is it important to believe in God? No. I think it's important to believe in God because, well, because God made you. Mm -hmm. That's why. why. Do you think it? I think it is. Too, for the same reason Lucy does. But I never had um, a religious experience. Weaving between dreams and reality, how have these children experienced the world beyond their homes? I go to Hawaii every year. I go to Ireland a lot. I go to Palm Springs. I go to New York. I'll be buying a cruise boat, then I'll be dropped on a boat and being other people and, you know, and, and, and ties, shirts, coats. They'll be, you know, in dresses, good ladies, and, and they'll be dancing, and I'll be having a light on the boat. Where would and you a go? Pool, and a pool inside the boat. I'll be traveling around. This summer, I went to Vienna. I usually go to the Caribbean, I usually go to Santa Fe, and I usually go to hot places, deserts. We're going to California and what's it called? Uh, the Grand Canyon. 
What you talking about on vacation? Have you ever been to any other cities besides Chicago? No. Leroy? One big smile. One big smile. Big. Your hands out. That's it. One time. Go on, Marissa. What does money mean to these children? And how do they feel about wealth and poverty? I said, why don't poor people get a job? And my mother said it's hard for them because no one wants poor yeah, people. Yeah, and also they ask them where they live, and they're kind of embarrassed and stuff like that. Yeah. And they have hardly have enough clothes. Is it important to have a lot of money? Mm, no, not really. Well, it really is important, but instead of just keeping it by yourself, you can lend it to the poor. The riches to the poor. Should the rich give some of their money to the poor? Yeah. Not just some, a lot. When I'm being rich, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give even I'm gonna give money even to the rich people. Like a poor person could become a rich person if they just work harder and get, get smarter. The bad thing I think about being rich is like uh, you get a lot of phone calls and you have to pay a lot of tax. Well, you have to, to pay a lot of things because you might own a lot. If I have a lot of money, to, money. I could, like, help a charity or something. Yeah. That yeah. Yeah. money yeah. and that's, stuff like that, that. That's one thing I want to be rich by. Uh-huh. Why? Because, like, I could, like, help homeless people get home and stuff yeah. with the money I get. Uh-huh. Yeah, we could probably be seen. See? <laughs> <laughs> rich person. Should rich people give their money to poor people? No. Yeah. No, they so, shouldn't. Sometimes they'll give them a little money so they can at least buy them some food. They shouldn't because, see, they need it for themselves. And people, the, uh, the poor people, they shouldn't have been doing what they did supposed to be doing. Then they would have had being rich. The only reason why I would like to be rich is to satisfy my children for good things. What would like you Like a buy? lot of toys. Well, toys for them. Because I know how good it feels. Because I have millions of toys. Yeah. Is it important to be rich? No, sir. Would you like to be rich when you grow up? Yeah, but money isn't the, everything in the world. Why do you want to be rich when you grow older? I want to be rich because then I never run out of money. And I also want to be rich because that's one of the things in my life that I always like to be. I like to be rich. I just, you I have, have a feeling. You it's want not right? Alexis. Rich doesn't just mean that you have a lot of money. Did you know that? Rich also means very fortunate. Rich means you could be poor, but you're still a good person. Hi, Hi, this is Vanessa. I, I, need to come, I need to talk to you. If you were rich, what would you buy? I would buy a house, I would buy a dog, a dog house, food, now that's important, food. A Lamborghini, a great Lamborghini, mm -hmm. it's the fastest car in the world. First the thing that I need and then if I have a little money, a little money left over, the things that I want. What are the things that you need? Nothing that I need right now. What would you do with all your money if you were rich? Uh, give it to people. Give it to a homeless so they could eat and go to the bathroom. Have you ever seen a homeless person? How did that make you feel? Awful. Because I, I think I might end like homeless. Mm -hmm. Homeless? What does homeless mean? A person who doesn't have a home of their own? No. I'm not homeless. Mom, my sister told me about this, this boy that's homeless that he doesn't have a home, and that he, he doesn't have a mother or father, and that he sleeps inside this crib. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 
Outside school, the children don't stop learning, but their experiences are vividly different. How are they being prepared to manage their futures? What promises are they making to themselves? Do you know what you'd like to be when you grow up? I might be a librarian like my mother was before she was married. I want to be a singer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I might be a teacher before I get married, or I might be, I might own a store. Scientist. Do you know what kind of scientist? Any kind of biography, anything. I want to be, someti sometimes I want to um, be somebody that, that works on houses. Sometimes I want to be a comedian. I like comedians. I've always wanted to be cool, grow up and be funny. Army man. I know the best thing to make money for. A, a um, lawyer. A lawyer? Uh -huh. I'm gonna be a lawyer. My mama's lawyer. She don't got no lawyer. When I grow up. I want to be a math teacher and a German teacher. I'm gonna be a cop, a fireman, uh, uh, what you call? Uh, a, a scientist, and I want to be a, uh, 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 what you call it, that you say jokes and everything? What you call that guy that he works to say in a, in a, in a displays? That they be on stage and people be eating, and I be saying jokes. A comedian. And I be a comedian. I'm a good comedian. Mm -hmm. I say four things. I'm going to be working hard. A lawyer or a doctor? Or a director, like you are. If I don't want to be a veterinarian when I grow up, because I might change it to an actress, but I mostly want to be a veterinarian. That's what I mostly want to be. I want to be a marine something after that. A marine something. And I study about okay. all kind of fish. Oh, and fish. Stuff. And um, one of, what my eye doctor's son, he discovered a new kind of shrimp. I was watching a TV show, and then there was a living, the people playing Nintendo to, to, to get money. So I wanted to be that when I grew up. My God. Huh. I want to be that now, but I never seen it. Policia. Why do you want to be a policeman? I want to be a policia. Because they're going to kill the people. I love Rowan. And I'm going to be the president. That's for sure. And probably some a surgeon, probably a brain surgeon. Mm -hmm. And how about you, Brandon? Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Well, not really, because I do have lots of years until that is. A generation after the civil rights revolution, America is still filled with ethnic and racial separateness. What have our children noticed so far about the differences between the races? White people are white and black people are black. Are there any other differences other than that? Mm, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I think I get um, the brown color on my skin from the slaves. Because my great-great-grandfather and grandmother was a slave. Mm -hmm. My four grand, my gr my four parents. I thought that was pretty stupid. What? Making black people slaves and stuff. What's the, there's white all people whipped slaves? I know. I I heard all about that. Most black people are better than white people. Why is that? Because Michael Jordan, he's better than Larry. Maybe he's like better than like Andre Dawson is like. Better than Mark Grace. Well, the reason it, yeah. black people could, like, they're bigger so they could, like, jump higher and they're faster because they're, like, so big. Like, yeah, if, since you're fast, they're stronger. If you're big, your legs are long. So if your legs can reach real far, you could go real fast. Some white people, um, uh, um, uh, yes. 
uh, friendly. Some black people is friendly. Some white people is not. Some black people is not. Black people and white people are just the same. But usually there's black people that are homeless because they don't they had to come to America because they couldn't buy anything or anything like that. And black people are sometimes different in the way they act. Like black people come from Jamaica and stuff, they might say, Oh, I think it's okay to drink and do cigarettes because in our country that's what we do. And then white people say, but in America, and since you're in America, mm -hmm. you're not supposed to drink and do cigarettes, which the black people might think, well, who asked you? I'm from a different country, and I believe in my rights. They could be from anywhere, but black people get treated really badly, even if they're from anywhere. Like, my grandma said that I'm middle, you're white. <laughs> my grandma said that Vietnamese and Chinese are white. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean yellow, and they say that English people are white. So we are getting along, uh, right? Right. Do you get along with black people? Nope. My dad told me not to. He's scared of black people. Either am I. Do you like white people? Why not? Do white people like you? No, they don't like black folks. Sometimes they don't, but sometimes they do. So is there a difference between black people and white people? It depends if they're good or bad. How do you tell the difference between a good person and a bad person? The way they treat you. After their trip to the zoo, we brought the children together for a party. Are the kids different from each other? Yeah. They're black and white. They speak different language. They're boys and girls. Some of them wear pants. I mean, all of them wear pants. Some of them made a big mess. And, and some of them thin. How are they like you? They're eight. How old are they all? Seven. Boys and girls are so different. Boys are much wilder and, and they come fight on, go. More, I think. It's just a boy Lewis, with Lewis, right? Lewis. He's been getting into trouble a little bit. I don't think yeah, he's, he's really, really wild and friendly. And my mother don't... told her to put his coat on, which he didn't do. Did you learn anything new today about kids from around the country? No, not yep. really. Because every kid in America is different. So you could play with them, and they think we are sleep on the same porch, like those friends out there. They may be happy. If you had one wish that could come true, what would that wish be? For everybody to have a good life in the world, and um, to give money to the poor, even if it's not Christmas. Mm -hmm. And that's all. What would your wish be? That they could do anything I want. What? Whenever I want it. And never run out of wishes. Or do what? whatever I want. What kind of wish is that? Well, it is a good wish. Well, to get married, to have kids, and, and um, have a good life. In the casa, what about... Y que tenga mucho jardín para que juegue.
I wish I had more money so I could buy me furniture and everything that stuff I need, not no toys and nothing. Be be an adult right away, only for one year, and all the month is my birthday, so I could be an adult right away. Princess, I wanted to be a princess. That's what I would do. <laughs> um, hmm, to get another sister or brother. I like to be um like Paul Abdul. Everyone want to live happily. Ever. Everybody, that wish will be the whole world will be have money and be, you know, rich instead of poor, right? That's my wish. That everyone won't be poor and people to help each other instead of fight, and, you know, that'll be my first wish. Here they are in all their diversity, their small world reflecting ours. We'll be returning to them when they're 14, 21, and 28 on their journey from childhood to maturity. What will we find in the tension between change and continuity? How much will be the same? How much will be different from when they were all age seven in America?